like that. And oh, it's a rolling floor thing. So. And there we go. That's another load in the shed. So about 200,000 litres in there. And if the worst comes to the worst, we'd probably end up with maybe a hundred thousand, maybe a bit more, um, in a silage bunker in spring. So two sources of income over the winter from silage, potentially, maybe. And I can always do the other, um, forage the other field if I really feel the need to. I mean, we should end up with approximately the same amount of product from both fields. They were both, uh, I think they were both limed and ploughed and all the rest of the stuff it required. Ideal nitrogen levels, I think, yes, nitrogen levels. So this is, potentially, you know, technically a good yield of, of uh, fresh maize that we're getting here <coughs> oh excuse me again and the farming agency are working on maize plus for farm sim 22 so you have yet to see what that's going to introduce oh. Oh, we're good. But I'm fairly certain we are not going to see this map in Farmstead 22 anytime soon. I, I like this map. It's if you're talking Manor Farm, Marwell Manor. Um, it's made by the same author, so it it feels very genuine as you know English countryside, and that's because he he builds maps based on the area he lives and knows and can visit to um, make it feel right. Um, but even so, with this this map again um, oh, where is it if we look at the map uh, the main yard is up here the main yards not bad but you start off with sort of field one two and three and that's a sheep pasture this here is the cow pasture for the cow shed here the pigs and chickens live off site so you would have to buy that farm I think to be able to um, access the chickens and the pigs but again these are big fields so you kind of need big big equipment now oxygen david who makes these maps he tends to give you bigger than the standard equipment if you go to most mappers will give you um a harvester you know this sort of range um, Oxygen David tends to pick um, probably not that, but something in the mid sized. So um, 10,000 litre capacity, 10,500, that sort of thing. I think in the new version, he's picking this equivalent, so 11,000. So yeah, you've got a 300,000 piece of equipment. Um, it's marginal on. Um, on capacity versus the amount of fields you have to work but I like these maps because they feel like England so um, yeah I, I would say it's a good map I wouldn't necessarily say um, if you played Marwell Manor you may find similar deficiencies with this map but I would say give it a try, see what you think. OK, 
Okay. Did the worker start? Oh. It did now. Let's jump out. Jump in the tractor. But this series is a very mature series. I mean, you're looking... Why isn't the worker... He isn't doing it. Let's try that again. Oh, the engine's not on. Engine's on, worker's on. Back in the tractor. What the heck? Why is the worker... Oh, I see. Okay. Back. Engine on. Worker on. Back in the tractor. Let's go. Yes! Okay. Can be very... Um, difficult with workers on forage harvesters at times. So yeah, this is a mature map. I mean, you wouldn't find this tractor in your starting kit. You wouldn't find this trailer in your starting kit. But like with Marwell Manor, it's a very quick... Um, I would get... I wanted to do Farm Sim 19 multiplayer. Um, the issue with multiplayer is me having a um, oh, what's the word for it? A convenient time of day that I can always be. Yeah. Uh, well, and then, then again, with ploughing, it's always going to be a problem because your ploughs are generally a very small. I mean, I kind of have problems when I need to plough on this map, and I'm using the big Lemkin, um, whatever it's called. Uh, I'm using this plough, the Titan 18. But it's still only a 4.9 working width, so it does take a long time to plough. But if I don't need to plough, um, I'm running up to sort of, I think we've got the... I can't remember what. Uh, we don't have one of those, we don't have one of those. Definitely got a cultivator. Who's a... I don't know. What the heck have I got in cultivators? Or did I go with a... I might have gone with a harrow. Ooh. Disc harrow. Joker? Yeah, the Joker 12RT. So this has 12.2 meter working width. But you need a huge tractor to work it. But 80,000, I can cultivate a field in no time with that. So, yes, as far as cult of multiplayer is concerned, I would consider it, but like I said, it needs to be, you know, Saturday morning is my solo long-term big plans and goals series. It would have to be one evening a week, and I need to be able to say, yes, I can put aside that one evening to do multiplayer, and it needs to be convenient for everybody who wants to join. Um, I tend to work till, yeah, you know, I work until five o'clock Eastern time. Um, we then generally are cooking for the next hour and eating. So mostly I'd be coming in around about seven, eight, thir uh, seven thirty, eight o'clock. Um, but if I could find a time that people are interested in joining, yes. There would probably need to be a discussion on how we're going to set it up. Are we going to do multiple farms or all work on one farm? Part of the problem with a single farm setup is you have to have enough machinery to keep all the expected players occupied. With multiple farms, that's not so much of a problem because everybody gets their own farm and their own equipment. Or... Um, you know, a two-man farm or a three-man farm and that's easier to buy all the equipment for. 
any more than that and your starting amount on farm manager is just not really quite enough okay we're gonna make it about a third of the way down here I guess <coughs> and then make another run to the yard so last one was into the share into the silo this one will put into the farm silo and then all of the rest of this field there's still quite a lot of it will go in the silage bunker I am happy that from sim 22 we got a lot more um, silage rollers don't think um, we got much in the way here um, levelers You've got that. Um, oh, it's full. So, worker off, helper off, engine off. Back to the tractor and back to the farm. Now, the other option would be for someone else to run a regular Farm Sim 22 session and I would be perfectly happy to join it and maybe even stream it during the week but like I said it's it's getting my schedule you know, balanced at the moment you know, I used to stream night times Farm Sim 17 early Farm Sim 19 then we moved and really didn't get back into streaming night times or evenings when we moved and on top of that um, with Mrs. Osa being oh, sick um, and our multiple trips in and out of hospital in the last few or last six months it hasn't really lent itself well to uh, streaming in the evenings because I have to do a lot more around the house than I have in the past. Saturday morning used to be a good streaming time. We are at 11.40. Um, just because Mrs. Osa liked to sleep in and so it was, you know, I, I have my own time first thing Saturday morning. I can get up whatever time I like. I actually get up probably closer to 6.30, 7 o'clock most mornings. But I don't start streaming till 9. Because I can then watch a few YouTube videos um, before, you know, while I'm having breakfast and getting settled in. It also gives me time for the sound card to warm up and actually get recognized by the PC. But uh, that still hasn't happened. I went all last night. I was running off of um, the uh, HDMI sound, which pipes through the uh, screen I have, which fortunately has speakers in it. Oh. Was I going to do that now? Well, who knows? Let's. Yes, that will put us up to two hundred thousand. Well, like you see, we got a million capacity here. For everything else, we've got uh, two million capacity. That's cool. All of the base crops, we've got two million capacity. Everything that normally you wouldn't store in the farm silo. We've got a million because of the extension. So what else? Um, but yeah, for now, um, I have to take off a fair number of days from work because uh, Mrs. Osa is still being treated or uh, follow-up visits at the hospital which is an hour drive each way and can take up to all day 
to uh, complete but it still gives me evenings and she's getting to be a little bit more mobile she will have more operations at least six months after the current um, surgery has healed so her body was in a really bad state so uh, we're probably looking at beyond September so I may I may consider the odd evening session streamed or otherwise probably streamed and seeing where that goes oh truck no <coughs> oh my throat is still ripped up okay and we're going to beat the car So for those of you who were here at the beginning of the stream, we were 8 o'clock-ish this morning. I started rather than the usual 9 o'clock. Because we were expecting our former foster kids to come over to open their presents, but mum's sick, so they're going to try and come over one evening this week. Thus, we're not ending as early as I thought we were. So this will be approximately another four hour stream and uh, I usually dump um, videos at half hour intervals. Okay, engine on, helper on. You're good. I'm good. Let's go. Oh, come on, really? Engine on, helper on. There we go. Okay. Gotcha. <coughs> yeah, I, uh, once I've finished the stream, I'll split it into 30 minute segments and then dump it to YouTube with a schedule of one ev uh, two every day until I run out of segments. So if we go eight hours here, that's two 30 minute videos for the next four days, but I'm still playing catch up with all of the uh, streaming we did over Christmas. Now I did miss one day because I had a rather bad case of um, acid reflux and really wasn't up to talking for a few hours so didn't stream that day but we had what was it i think two streams at thanksgiving three streams of over christmas and possibly three streams over new year's as well so that's at three hours a time six Six, three hours a time is six videos at two a day in three you know back to back days most of the time um, so yeah we're playing pack catch up still but people who watch the series on YouTube these will probably be dropping I want to say Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday Friday this week so, uh, and I, I, I always leave 24 hours before I release a video. So, even if my YouTube feed was clear, um, this video would not drop until 9 o'clock on Sunday morning tomorrow. And then all subsequent videos drop at 6. 6 and 6.30 per day. And that's just the way I do it. Apparently YouTube doesn't like people releasing more than two videos a day. 
unless you're Fox News or CNN or someone like that. Airplane. A lot of folks flying from the local airfield last few weeks. Possibly because it's freezing outside and uh, airplanes do like uh, cold weather because the air is dense. Okay, you do your thing, I'll do mine. How am I doing? 90% full? Okay. <clears throat> so once the workers going seems to be relatively happy following me but if I have to stop him for any reason doesn't like partially filled trailers for some reason. And getting him restarted after running down to the yard and back also appears to be a bit of a challenge for him. Okay, there we go. Help her off, engine off. Back to the tractor, let's go. <coughs> Now I'm undecided for our Saturday series if I'm going to do a farm manager so million and a half startup. So we start with a good amount of land if not equipment. We'll probably end up with a, an upper 200 horsepower tractor. So something over 250 horsepower. and then various support equipment um, and a fair amount of land usually don't go to two pieces of equipment although my Elm Creek restart I do have a pickup so that I can haul um, production crates on the trailer and I'm running a McCormick 260, 270 horsepower and a the New Holland Harvester and a skid steer skid skid steer to pick up the uh, way we are able oh that was um, different hi dude you seem to be under my trailer and yeah we're stuck There now, how's that for you? But yeah, it's, it's a reasonable amount of equipment. I've got, I think I started with land with four small fields and three small fields, and another block with three small fields, so seven small fields total. They're now two medium sized fields, well, probably three medium sized fields. I ploughed a few of them together. And that's working fairly well. I've, I'm concentrating on it being a, a flower production facility. So we're generally growing wheat, oats, um, barley, sorghum, depending on the time of year and planting. Income is slow, even with that amount of land. Um, now... And I am doing a lot of uh, contracts as well to fill in the gaps. I could do a start from scratch, but the start will be very slow um, from experience. Yeah, it, it's just you can't afford much in the way of equipment. You can't even afford much in the way of land for you. So your income potential is super limited. Um, it appears to the common... Um, way to get that working for you is usually to get yourself a water trailer and 
do greenhouses. Even if you don't go and sell um, or ship the stuff to the market, you just sell straight from the greenhouse. Um, it's definitely, you need that minor income source to get yourself going. But it, it, it is a very, very, very slow growth. And I'm not sure, yeah, is that going to be pain, too painful to stream on a Saturday, you know, every week on a Saturday? Well, here we are in the same tractor with the same equipment and uh, the same fields.